Hello and welcome. My name is Mrs. B. Um, I was a home educator for many years and I would just like to take this opportunity to talk about something that um, parents with young children or educators who work, uh, Sunday school teachers, more one-on-one -on -one or just two or three children at a time, uh, would like to learn about two books that I really like. Um, one is called Giant Steps for Little People, Kenneth and Taylor, The Sermon on the Mount and the Ten Commandments, perhaps two of the most well-known uh, parts of the Bible, and very important, I think, to teach children. This uh, small book is very well illustrated in color, and one of the reasons I encourage parents to read to their children and interact with them is we are fast approaching a time when we are an illiterate nation. Uh, even the secular media acknowledges that people are illiterate. We must learn to read well because God communicated to us His Word in a written form. And anyone who cannot read and understand words well cannot understand the mind of God, the will of God, the purposes of God, um, because you're at the mercy of some kind of a video or short attention span type teaching that will never help you to really dig into God's Word. So let's get this back down on the level of the child and see why Kenneth Taylor wrote these books and how you as a parent uh, can find them useful for your children. One reason I like uh, Kenneth Taylor's books, again, is because of the illustration. And let's just go through quickly this one uh, here from uh, the Bible passage down there. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and mind, from Matthew 22, 37. And as you interact with your child, it's most important to have them sitting on your lap or sitting really close to you so that they can watch and see you read and see these pictures because you can teach much just from the illustrations. Let's see what he start, what he said here. Love your father and your mother and your brother, sister too. But most of all and best of all, love God for he loves you. Now that's a simple little rhyme that you could teach your child. Be a good one. Have them say it, sing it, um, spend all week thinking about it. And um, he discusses what's in the picture there and make some comments about it. And then he has some questions that you ask your child and a little prayer that they would pray. And on the left side is a picture of some little uh, teddy bears all sitting together, a little teddy bear family. It looks like they're praying over a meal. These children love their father and mother. God wants families to love each other. But I will tell you a secret. This family loves God even more than they love each other. And that's exactly what God wants. There are many reasons we should love God and thank Him. Most of all, we love Him because He loves us. You can thank Him for giving you your wonderful parents. You can thank Him for giving you enough food to eat every day and time to play and friends. You should thank Him for all these good things and love Him all the time. And the questions go along with that. Do these children love their father and mother? How can you tell? Whom should we love more than anyone else? What are some things you can thank God for? And the little prayer. Dear God, help me to love you very much all the time. So this particular little two-page um, story or teaching tool opens the door for you to talk about the love of God with your child. And please be sensitive to the Holy Spirit and you can go into more detail about God's love and at some point share the gospel message with your child. But realize that the Word of God says that as it goes forth it never returns void. So these resources have a Bible verse and they have a, an application. 
Um, I trust that you could do maybe one of these every day. Sometimes in the in the um, afternoon when your child is fresh up from a nap, as a young child. But the most important thing is spending that time with your child, um, encouraging them through reading to them and talking with them and getting to know them and getting helping them to know God. Thank you for your time and God bless you.